Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video, we will build a custom FreeBSD kernel. As you can tell, I have my FreeBSD VM running. And if I go over to my terminal and SSH into it, you can see we are indeed on FreeBSD 14.2. So the first thing you want to check is, do you have the source? On the user source, you find the FreeBSD source tree. As you can tell, I already have it because during installation of FreeBSD, I ticked it on. You can also get the source tree later via SVN, or you can also download the tar file and extract it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to user source sysamd64conf. And in here, you can find configuration files for the kernel. For example, the default configuration is generic. You also have a minimal config. You have other configs that you can select from, but in our case, we will create a custom config. I've already have one here called custom, but we're going to start from scratch. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy the generic one and call it custom, making a copy of it. After you've done that, you can edit the custom file. And in here, I advise you to be careful. Um, in general, if you are messing with the kernel, you need to make sure of what you're doing. You could compile out some modules, you could change things around, you can do optimization, but at the end of the day, you need to be careful on what you're doing so as to not bork your kernel. The only thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the ident line. This is the identifier for the kernel and I will call it JHX, my nickname. The next thing we're going to do, since we edited the configuration file, we need to go back to user source and we can now start the make process. To do that, you will, you will type make build install, build kernel, I'm sorry. Give it the kernel configuration we've just created and start the process. In my case, I will just let this run and I will continue the video as soon as it's finished. And the compilation is done. As you can see here, we have a little bit of information about the build. The kernel build for custom is completed. Took roughly 15 minutes on this system for course, so not that long. The next thing we're going to do, let me clear the screen, is we do a sudo make install kernel. And we need to again give our custom kernel conf and hit enter. So this step doesn't take that long, but I will pause the video until it's finished. And here we go. It copied over the necessary module files and the kernel itself. And we can now go over and reboot our virtual machine. In this example, I will go over to the VM display. We'll log in as root and we will simply reboot the system. This doesn't take that long, usually a couple of seconds until the machine stops, but at the selection prompt, you will see something special to the new kernel we just made. So you can see here, we have the option number six, which is the kernel, and we can switch between it. If you press six on the keyboard, you can select our new kernel, the kernel we just built, or the old kernel. By default, when you do a new custom kernel, it will default to the new kernel. So let's boot into it. All right, seems fine. Hardware seems to be recognized. And in a couple of seconds, we should have a login console. So services are started, networking is up, and we are at the console. And if we log in and do a uname minus a, you can see that in the string, oh well, I will show you via SSH. If we do uname a, you can see we have our ident string, our identification, which we just set up before SJHX. The keen eyed viewers of you would have already seen that I've before also booted into a custom kernel, but this is an easy way to check if your kernel is loaded. Just make sure at the boot screen, at the boot loader that you select the correct kernel you want to boot. So that was it, that was it guys for this small little video and have a good day.